Tonight, researchers are setting up a line of sensitive test equipment across southern Florida. They're sniffing the air for the toxic dust from blue-green algae. Nightside's Bo Zimmer tells us scientists want to know what living through years of algae blooms and algae dust can mean for your health. It looks like a giant can of soup. But researchers from Florida Gulf Coast University are using this contraption to sniff the air for signs of harmful toxins from blue-green algae floating around Florida. We have a vacuum pump that just sucks air. The algae sniffers are designed to simulate the human respiratory system. They collect particles um, in seven different stages. And then by the time you get to the smallest stage, you're collecting particles that are smaller than a micron. And those are the ones that can get deep down into your lungs. It was horrible. There was like a white, scummy slime on the surface. Francie Rogal remembers when blue-green algae invaded the lake behind her home here in Safety Harbor. Back then, Pinellas County warned people to stay out of the water and avoid direct exposure. Researchers now want to know if it can also be dangerous at lower levels just by breathing it in, similar to secondhand smoke. If you're living near a water body that had these blue-green algae blooms, you know, every year, year after year after year, what kind of exposure um, uh, does that result in and what kind of human health effects does that result in? If funding continues, researchers won't rule out adding additional sniffers here in the Bay Area. It would probably be an, an interesting thing to do to get some samples from farther away. How much of this is related to Lake O? Researchers from Florida Atlantic and the University of Miami are also studying the risk, taking nasal blood and urine samples from humans living in algae prone areas. You know, it really comes down to um, is it a human health risk? And if so, how big of a risk is it? And right now there are nine total sniffers deployed. There are three along the East Coast in Stewart, West Coast in Cape Coral and in Clewiston covering Central Florida.